Hi, I'm Mark McVeigh, a student here at Liberty. And um, our assignment this week was to take a look at a certain event or something in early American history using the American Historical Inference Collection. Um, I looked at the Whiskey Rebellion. Um, if you look there, William Hoagland um, called the Whiskey Rebellion really America's first real test of federal federal power. Um, and uh, what what happened there is, um, you know, in, in 1791, Alexander Hamilton uh, suggested, and the you know federal government went along with it, with a tax on whiskey and other alcoholic products to really help pay for the Revolutionary War. There was quite a bit of debt that had been built up there. And um, as you can imagine, since a similar taxes that were trying to pay for the French and Indian War um, really caused the Revolutionary War, um, we had some resistance, especially in the Western areas where people felt like they were being unfairly taxed without local representation because a lot of times they didn't get a lot of say as to what went on back in um, you know, the, the state capitals. This is especially true in Western Pennsylvania, which is where uh, most of this occurs. Um, what I thought was very interesting was um, you, you have a situation where there's definitely some real grievances. I mean, there was one of the biggest grievances is, is, was that um, large distillers who were mainly located back east could pay a flat tax on each still, whereas out west, um, where the stills really weren't the case, they had to pay a tax per gallon. So that gallon tax went with everything they sold, whereas a still tax, if you had one still and you produced thousands of gallons or hundreds of gallons worth of whiskey or or, a, or an alcoholic beverage, you got credit for it after you paid off for the, the still. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I looked at what I, what I thought was interesting is, you know, I think everybody knows that uh, the Whiskey Rebellion was put down by George Washington. He raised a militia because the U.S. really didn't have a standing army at the time, but he raised 13,000 militia from the governors of uh, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, and and, uh, and New Jersey. And by the time he got to western Pennsylvania, kind of the opposition just kind of melted away. But in the uh, years between 1791 and 1794, there had been a lot of damage done to uh, people that supported the tax, especially um, tax collectors and things. And what I thought was real interesting when I looked at the um, American Historical Inference Collection is I found, um, first of all, a speech by George Washington in there that actually talks about how, hey, it's our duty um, as Americans, is our duty as Congress to make right those people who supported us in Western Pennsylvania and lost property, um, money, um, in some case, potentially lives and things like that. So he was looking for compensation for those people. Um, the next document I looked at was actually a bill that Congress um, had on the floor there to do just that. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And then the third document I looked at was by Hugh Henry Breckinridge, which was written in 1794 by an author from Western Pennsylvania. And I thought it was very interesting because his take on the federal government and their intervention in Western Pennsylvania was that they really didn't have a right to do that. And he walked through um, the reasons that the federal government gave for insurrection. He said this wasn't necessarily a full-blown insurrection. He said, uh, you know, the government was okay to use troops on U.S. soil to protect against things like Indian invasion, but that this did not reach that level. And I thought there were some interesting parallels that in future um, research might be pretty interesting to try to tie some of this into uh, January 6th and how some people view um, things as an insurrection and some people view things as merely a protest. So I thought it was pretty interesting and I, um, I, I actually learned a lot researching this. Thank you very much.